Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to set up the control objects and bind them to our bone joints. But before we go any further I wanted to show you that you can adjust the position of these bone joints by selecting the move tool and holding down D on your keyboard and move them. And you can see that I can move that down to that edge if I want or back up to this edge. I can also move it out and the bones will automatically lengthen as the joint is repositioned. And so that's important because you may not always click in the exact right place that you want. So let's create some controls. Let's uh, hit the space bar and switch to the perspective view. And I'm going to switch to wireframe so I can see everything in here. And controls are usually objects that are not rendered. You can use geometry if you want to, or you can just use curves. Curves are often used and you can make custom curve shape if you want to and we'll see how to do that in just a minute but let's go ahead and keep this simple and make this a circle and we created a circle and let's get the scale tool and scale it out and this is going to be our root or master control for this hierarchy and let's go ahead and rename this one by double clicking on its name in the outliner and typing in CC which stands for control curve root now one very important thing we need to make sure of when we're setting up control curve objects is that the pivot point of the control curve object matches the pivot point of the bone joint. So to do that, let's get the move tool and move it out here a little bit. And then let's hold down V on our keyboard and snap it to the center vertex of the bone joint. Now this is an easy one. Uh, some control objects are a little more difficult, but that is the basic process. Now if we wanted to make this bone joint look a little different, we could right click on it and select control vertices. And then we could select the control vertices, for example, and do something different with them, like scale them in or something like so, just to make it look a little different. Let's just go ahead and leave these circles for now. We can also change their color if we want, and I think that I'm going to do that at this point. And to change their color, you go to the Attribute Editor, and then you select the CC root node and you find display. And then scroll down and define find drawing override. And if you click enable override, you can then change the color here to something different. Like so. Okay, so let's select this one and we're going to duplicate it. And we're just going to make these controls going on up this bone chain. So let's go to edit duplicate and then we're going to move this up and let's hold down V on our keyboard and snap it into place on the bone joint and then let's give it a different color and scale it down a bit. And then let's do it again. Edit, duplicate, move it up, hold down V, snap it into place, and give it a slightly different color. And scale it down just a bit. And then let's do it again. Duplicate. Move the copy up. Snap it into place by holding down V on your keyboard. And give it a slightly different color. Now we have our control objects. The next thing we need to do is set up the parent-child relationship or the hierarchy of these control objects. Because the bones have a hierarchy and these need to have one as well. When we move this one, we want that one to follow. And when we move this one, we want these two to follow. And when we move this one, we want them all to follow. So to set up a parent-child relationship, 
what you do is you start with the child. So let's select this one and then select its parent. And then you hit P on your keyboard. And you can see that that immediately parented these two together in a hierarchy, just like the joints. And let's select this one and then select its parent and hit P on the keyboard, and then select this one, and select its parent, and hit P on the keyboard. And you can see that they are all now in a parent-child hierarchy. If I select this one and rotate it, all follow. If I select this one and rotate it, they follow. And if I select this one and rotate it, the one above it follows. And that is what we want. So the next thing we need to do is rename these. We want this to be root and we want these to be spine. So select the second root and go to modify, select and replace name, and select root and replace it with spine and click apply. And that changes everything in the hierarchy below the one you've selected to spine. And that is exactly what we want. Now, we're not going to create a layer for these, because if we do, that'll mess up our colors here. So we're not going to create a layer for these control objects. But when we come back, we're going to constrain the control objects to each of its bones. And then we are going to bind the mesh to the bones. And I'll see you then.